And then as we head into the evening hours, we'll keep those clouds around too. And temperatures as we head towards 10 o'clock, we will be dropping down into those lower 20s. Now, fortunately, well, you know, it's kind of a give and take. We will get some cloud breakage overnight. That's actually going to allow our temperatures to cool again, but it will bring us some more sunshine for tomorrow. So while temperatures are below average, you can also plan on those wind chill temperatures, which have been quite cold. Some were below zero this morning. And as we head into the late afternoon, this is five o'clock. Expect them to be in the upper single digits to right around the mid teens. So, right around 5 o'clock, Indianapolis feeling like 12 degrees into the morning hours tomorrow. We'll feel a few degrees cooler with much of us, much of the area feeling like we are down into the single digits. Now, as we get into tomorrow, we do have some improvements in the forecast. We are going to see temperatures a little bit warmer and a little more sunshine. So, as we start off with air temperatures in those lower teens tomorrow, we'll see those temperatures rising into the lower 30s as we head into the afternoon. That's still below average, but we'll be getting better and we'll be getting better into your Thursday as well. Thursday is going to be the best day of the week, but some good news looking beyond the seven day. I'm going to show you the eight to 14 day outlook is actually giving us a pretty decent probability that above average temperatures are going to be around as we get into that second week of February. So February starts tomorrow. We're looking at a high of 31. We have Groundhog Day on Thursday, a high of 40. That's going to be the best of the week. Then a cold front comes in, drops us down to 28, bringing us some flurries in our northern counties due to lake effect on Friday. And then we climb again Saturday, a high of 38, 44 on Sunday, and we will be nearing 50 by Monday. Ruben.